Hello everyone. Let me take a guess. You have been learning DevOps for months now and now you understand what is a container or you know what does CI CD stand for? But tell me something. If I put you in a real DevOps engineer role tomorrow, can you do the job or would you end up searching for basic Linux commands on the internet? So here's the truth. Most people learn DevOps the wrong way. They spend months watching tutorials, reading blogs, collecting certificates, and to be honest, I started the same. I thought that was enough until I got my first real task to set up a CI CD pipeline for this application. And I completely froze because learning theory does not give you the real skill to apply in production. You need to understand that watching someone else type the command is not the same as typing yourself. Also reading about Docker is not the same as running or building containers. The best and the fastest way to learn DevOps is by actually doing hands-on practice. And that's why Code Cloud started 100 Days of DevOps Challenge. So this is the landing page for 100 Days DevOps and you can check it out. The link is in video description. It's actually very simple. Every day you are given a practical task, not a video to watch or a book to read, but a real task to do hands-on practice, which means from day one, you are actually working in real environments. And by day 15, you will be writing scripts. By day 30, you are building Docker containers. By day 50, you are debugging Kubernetes pods. By day 75, you are running your first CI CD pipeline. And by day 100, you have built the complete portfolio with 100 DevOps tools, which means there's no time pass, just real practice that will make you job ready. This 100 days of DevOps challenge is created like a game. You have different levels. So starting from day 1 to 25, you will be at a foundational level or a basic level where you will learn Linux commands, create bash scripts, manage users, schedule pod, master git basics, so which means by the end you will understand everything about servers and you can also handle them without any fear. Next, from day 26 to 50, you will learn about Docker containers and Kubernetes. You will build Docker images, debug them, deploy applications on Kubernetes. So by the end, you will understand how containers and pod actually work. After that, from day 51 to day 75, you will learn about CI CD and automation. In this DevOps challenge, you will set up Jenkins pipeline, connect your applications using Kubernetes features like config map secrets. And this is where you can learn and build software like a pro. Lastly, from day 76 to 100, you will be learning about infrastructure as code and tools like Terraform, Ansible. Not just this, through this 100 days of DevOps challenge, you will add every of your DevOps task in your GitHub portfolio. Which means by day 100, you don't just say you know DevOps, you can actually show them through your GitHub portfolios. So you decide now, 100 days from now, either you have excuses or a portfolio with 100 DevOps tasks. Start doing it today, take the 100 days DevOps challenge, the link is in description. Thank you and have a good day.